All of this stuff here is uh, lead based. So what happened in Flint, Michigan, it put a spotlight on lead poisoning throughout the country. It gave us the opportunity and really the obligation to look at it in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And when we did, we found tens of thousands of kids have lead poisoning. Kisses. This is something that's perceived to be just something that happens in, in really poor neighborhoods and really, really run down places. And it's not, it's, it's all over. So when we started looking at this, we looked at a couple of things. We first started with what are the laws that are built to protect our kids and how well are they working? Is the health department effective at enforcing this ordinance? I, I think there are a few things that we can change that need to be changed. Throughout our reporting, we talked to a lot of people, including advocates, one of which told us that we are using our kids as lead detectors. When we looked at how health departments react to lead poisoning, we found they are simply responding to cases. Do you actively go out and test for lead? No, we do not. We don't have the resources to do that. There's not, I'm not aware of any um, programs that routinely go out and test. Now, New Jersey is trying to be proactive. They actually have millions of dollars that are supposed to be set aside to get lead out of homes throughout the state. But we followed the money, and what we found is that fund is almost empty. Those funds are raided, and they're used for purposes other than their original intention. This is something that affects all of our kids. It can affect someone for their entire lives, from their ability to learn in elementary school to their ability to be comfortable in social settings later on. It's why we are investigating the sources of lead and what's being done to fix it.